What do we make of this first half, Barles, as we go through these highlights? I mean, in the first quarter, it was Emmett Smith in that ground game for Estello. Took it into the red zone and then was able to punch it in. When you have a legend, he falls forward and goes up 7-0. But Duke answered pretty well. He had a nice pass deep down the middle of the field, and then he punched it in with Zeke to tie the game. At the end of the half, a deep ball downfield, almost broke it, had to settle for the field goal. It was 10 Seven going into the half. It looked like Duke was coming back all day long. Duke was tough in this game, man. He counterpunched every big hit from Estello. He went up 14-10 in the end zone right there. But Estello scrambled in. Russell Wilson got one, went up 17-14. Duke came back one more time, punched it in, and went up 21-17. The game was in Estello's hands. So what did he do? He gave it to Emmett Smith. And he fought and fought and broke tackles, cut it out to the left to go up 24-21. And Duke had to counterpunch one more time. But instead, the knockout blow came in the form of an interception. 24-21, Estello moves on.